Hey guys, it's Eric, owner of Farpoint Farms, and today I'll be doing a very short video on how to replace the cabin filter on your Volvo uh, 93 to 98. This is going to cover 850s, S70s, V70s, and XC70s. Uh, they were very simple. They were an afterthought because originally these cars weren't manufactured to take cabin filters. There were retrofit kits available almost from the start, but uh, it's a matter of removing two screws. Those screws are Torx bit screws. And if you're lucky enough to still have your original Volvo toolkit, you won't need to buy a tool because it comes with a T25 Torx screwdriver bit. There's also a uh, 30 and a 27 and I think a 15 in that kit, so pretty cool. Now the cabin filter you can purchase anywhere. Uh, this one is a uh, man filter, but uh, whatever's cheapest for you, they all work about the same. Now the reason I'm replacing this is uh, uh, I've got reduced airflow. And I've replaced it maybe 10,000 miles ago. Usually they're good for about 15,000. But part of living on a farm means that sometimes critters get up into uh, parts of your car you don't really want them to. So these are the two screws we're going to be replacing. One's right here, and the other one is right here. And uh, let's start, because this won't take very long, and it's extremely cold out here. So you're just going to go ahead and unscrew those. And I think we'll see a surprise when we get in here. Now, usually you should have nothing more than, you know, average soot, dust, and maybe some leaf particles. Occasionally you'll get rodent infestations, especially during your winter months where stuff is trying to grow, uh, move into a warm spot. Now, I've got those two screws replaced. You're just going to lift up and uh, slide the old one out. It's in a tray. You'll pull that forward and out it will come. And, uh... This one's about as dirty as you'd expect them to be. Not terrible, not too clean, not too dirty. What's clogging it up, and it's, it's hard to see here, is, uh, let me pull one off, feathers. Chicken feathers, to be specific. The, uh, the mice will pick the feathers off of the chicken or find the feathers that have dropped off the chicken and take them and use them for storage and <laughs> building nests because feathers are kind of warm. So that's what happened to this. No, uh, you'll see it has an airflow indicator on your cabin filter. You want to make sure you put it back in that setup there, but it's just a matter of sliding it into the slot. Nothing really all that fancy to it, to be honest with you. Once it's back in, lower it back down. Put your two screws back in, and you are done. Not a very difficult job. Now, if you take it to me, I will be happy to do this job for you, and I will charge you, oh, usually about... Uh, $29 to $39, depending on the model of car. Uh, you can pick this filter up yourself for about 8 bucks, maybe a little less, maybe a little bit more. You can do it yourself. Like I said, even if you don't own the tools, they come with your car. So literally, you're looking at 7 or $8 to do this job yourself. And you should do it, especially if you've owned the car for more than, say, two years, and you've never done one of these before. You're going to be surprised at what you see when you open it up. Uh, when cabin filters first started being installed on cars, I used to think it was kind of a, a scam, something that wasn't necessary. But over the years, I've come to become a believer because uh, anything this cabin filter catches from going in to the rest of your system is less work that has to happen later on. This, if it were full of uh, uh, feathers or debris, I mean, critters sometimes will stack their little uh, acorns and stuff in there. If this catches it and it doesn't get all the way into your system, I save you the money because sometimes they'll get past this, or if it doesn't have one of these from the factory, you'll end up with a bunch of acorns in your cabin, in your fan itself, and uh, that means removing the fan, digging around, trying to suck all those acorns out of your uh, <laughs> your air system. So that's it. A nice short video from Farpoint Farms here on a very cold winter's day, but uh, needed to get done. Figured, why not film it? Uh, another thing I'm going to be doing to this car very shortly, probably later on today if the parts arrive is I've got to do a distributor cap and rotor and some plug wire so I'll show you how to do that too also only need two tools for that one of them comes with your car the other one is a flat blade screwdriver certainly something we should all have on hand and you'd be amazed at what you can accomplish with a minimal amount of tools and a little bit of time and effort I'm Eric hope to see you next time take care